Congresswoman Elise Stefanik and other congressional leaders are calling for an investigation into how the state of New York handled discharging patients who live in nursing homes. Emily Burkhardt spoke with the Congresswoman tonight and is here with our top story. Emily? Jim, the jabs between Congresswoman Stefanik and the Cuomo administration continue today. They're at odds over what should have happened under the CDC's guidelines for discharging COVID patients to care facilities. On Wednesday, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo defended the State Department of Health's policy that mandates nursing homes and assisted care facilities take discharged COVID-19 patients who were treated at the hospital. The state followed President Trump's CDC guidance. But Stefanik fired back. And where the governor is incorrect is that the CDC did not give guidance mandating that nursing homes be forced to accept positive COVID patients. What the CDC recommended was that there needed to be facilities within the nursing home that would be separate if they accepted positive COVID cases. Stefanik and other federal lawmakers are calling for an investigation into the New York State Department of Health. They say New York's nursing home case numbers far outpace those in states that have similarly aging populations, like Florida. Stefanik says ultimately she wants the investigation to lead to answers for her constituents, some of whom didn't even know that their loved one passed away from the virus until they saw the death certificate. They want to know um, why that decision was made, but most importantly, the families I talked to, they want to make sure that this doesn't happen again in the future. When asked about the possibility of an investigation into DOH on Wednesday, Cuomo seemed indifferent. I don't welcome, not welcome, it doesn't matter. President Trump does what he wants to do. He doesn't listen to a governor. Cuomo has also been vocal about New York paying over $100 billion more in federal taxes than it's received in aid since 2015. Stefanik says New York has gotten help with direct aid, increasing the number of hospital beds, and testing capability. No other state across the nation has gotten more support from the federal government, whether it's that federal aid, the $9 billion, or it's the funding to our hospitals, or it's sending the Navy comfort ship and using the Army Corps of Engineers to build out the Javits Center, uh, as well as doubling our testing capacity. That was supported by the federal government. We checked the CDC's website, and the information posted for assisting living facilities alone is overwhelming. But from what we can tell, the recommendations for readmitting COVID-19 patients who have been discharged from the hospital do not say anything about the facilities being mandated to accept them, but they do say if the facility cannot provide the care needed in that situation, an alternate location must be found. Stay tuned to News Channel 13 for updates on this story. Karen.